Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. I've been posting a couple of videos uh, over the last while on this channel about Google rolling out the new Google Drive backup utility client, which is replacing the old backup and sync uh, client that many of us have been using previously. Now, if you have made the transition from backup and sync uh, to the new Drew, uh, Google Drive uh, backup client uh, recently, then there is good news because in my previous videos, I reported that a lot of those features had not made their way into the new Drive client. And then as of yesterday, um, I noticed that a lot of those uh, features pre previously in Backup and Sync had made their way now into the new Drive client. So it looks like that was on a controlled rollout. And it looks like now the Drive client has become a more fully fledged utility like it used to be in Backup and Sync. Now, if you haven't made the transition from Backup and Sync to uh, the new draft client then you have until September to do so and if you don't do so by September then Google will force you to go over from backup and sync to the new draft client and I have posted some videos previously where you can find the link um, in those videos down below to where you can go download the draft client now in drive if we go to our gear icon our preferences now you will see that there are some new options and then also the My Laptop folders from your computer has been added back into the menu. The My Laptop tab is now back. And this uh, is where you can add a folder from your laptop or your computer to add to your drive. So it syncs from your, your computer to the to drive. And then those synced folders will appear under Google Drive. So that's handy once again. And then if you click on Google Drive, you can have a tab now where you can open the folder in your file explorer and then yeah we have my drive syncing options and these are some nice options now that have been added just to make things a lot more user-friendly practical and a lot more understandable uh, you know understandable how they used to be um, when i posted those previous uh, videos now you have stream files which it says stores all my drive files in the cloud so that means there's a shadow copy on your hard drive and the actual uh, folder and file is in the cloud and then you can choose specific files and folders to make available offline. And that's when you right click a file or folder um, in uh, my drive um, on your computer and you can make that available offline. And I have chosen that option. And then you can mirror your files where this stores all your drive files in the cloud and on your computer and all files are automatically available offline. So it's a two way street. So what is um, on your hard drive is in the cloud and what's in the cloud is on your hard drive. So you have some um, new features here, some extra options, which just makes things look and, you know, are a lot more understandable and practical for your everyday user. And then if you click on the gear icon again, this takes you to some more familiar settings where uh, under Google Drive, you have real-time presence in Microsoft Office. This hasn't changed. You can change the drive letter of Google Drive. Google Photos, your upload size, you have storage saver, original quality. Obviously, you can choose whichever you want there. And then upload screenshots, upload raw files, file types. Um, I've chosen to leave those unchecked. And then launch on system startup where you can launch drive at startup. And then yeah, you have your local cached files directory, which you can change. Now, don't get this confused with your drive folder. This is not the drive folder. This is the cached files directory where you can change that location on your hard drive. And then proxy settings, auto detect, direct connection. I've left that at default. Bandwidth settings, you can check download rate or upload rate, and that gives you some extra options. I've left that at default. And then if you choose to ignore a USB device that you don't want synced to drive, it will appear under the ignored USB devices in a list. And obviously I've got nothing there at the moment. And then you can just click on done to X out of that. And if we pop over to our file explorer, you can see in our devices and drives, you now have a Google Drive that has been added and that was there previously as well. But now you have other computers and um, that's your My Laptop folder or computer folder now. And then obviously your My Drive. And then if you go to your quick access navigation pane on the left, you that also pops a Google Drive uh, shortcut into the quick access menu. And also My Drive folder is also popped into quick access menu and those were there previously as well now as mentioned in those settings um, you can click on a folder or file to make it available online and offline 
if you so wish you can see my document the documents folder is mirrored so that means what's on my uh, hard drive is mirrored in the cloud and my pictures is only this is a shadow copy on my hard drive and the actual file is in or picture is in the cloud and if i want to change that i can just right click and go offline access and available offline or online only as it is or available offline and it changes it from the cloud to the little green uh, check and so this means that this one is streamed only and this one is mirrored and that's what i was explaining in those preferences just now now just to bring something else to your attention is that my drive if we go back to our actual google drive the drive here the my drive this folder there is no way to see where it actually is on your computer so it's it doesn't even have a target field um in the properties so if i click on this one let's just check there properties there's no target field so there's no way as yet to find out where this actually is located on your hard drive and if we just go to our user files you will see for example that onedrive which i use and nextcloud which are both backup util utility clients the actual user the, the actual uh, folder is in my user folder so this is very handy especially if you're backing up or you're doing a hard copy to an external hard drive or just for access but there is no my drive in my user my user folder and as yet there is no way to actually see where that folder is located on your pc so hopefully this is something that google will actually give us access to uh, in the future because i think knowing where this folder is located is actually a very handy feature that we need to have uh, for the my drive backup client so those are just the new additions and add-ons and features that have become available since i posted those previous videos and as i mentioned uh, google drive the new drive utility is now replacing the old backup and sync client so i hope you found this video useful once again thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one